Hey everybody, this is a quick word with me. So, um, just jump on in really quick. It's not gonna be long, maybe 10 minutes tops. So, come on in, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are on the globe. Just join in really quick. I have a little word to read that um, God has been telling me all day, um, but I was resting. And um, yeah, so come on in. We're going to talk about Goliath and David or David and Goliath. Tex is in. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Welcome in, you guys. Come on in. We're going to get a little late night reading. Well, midnight reading with you guys. And let you guys see what God has been telling me today. Um, literally just 10 minutes ago, he was like, David, David. It was just over and over in my head. And I was like, okay, God, what, what you want? What you want? So um, he gave me a passage in this book that I'm reading. Amen. I got you. I got you. Um, this isn't the Bible. This is just a study book. Um, hi. I posted this um a while ago. But yeah, so this is the study book that I'm reading again. It's just all about David, nothing else. Um, about David, about his battles and everything like that. What, baby? You want one of those? Okay. Hi, uh, you uh... <laughs> Um. So anyway, I'm gonna read a little bit because um, I'm a little more lover. Hey, good luck with love. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. <laughs> yeah. So it's dinner time for them and I'm God literally just told me to read about this. It's um anyway. This is my show. Yeah. <laughs> Before I'm so rudely interrupted by these children that God put on this earth. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so um cut the water down cut the water down okay so anyway i'm gonna um <laughs> i'm gonna read this little pack stop fighting i'm gonna um read this little passage really quick that god had put on me and then i'm just gonna go into what god has been telling me hi everybody welcome in love you guys too so it says four lessons emerge from the significant battle between david and goliath so I'm going to read them slowly. Hi. I'm going to read them slowly so we can just let it sit, right? So the first lesson is four lessons that they're talking about in this passage. And um, they said four lessons that were significant with the battle of David and Goliath. So one, facing giants is an intimidating experience. We can look back at David's bravery and, um, bravery and victory with the perfect hindsight from a safe distance of 2,000 years, which is now. But humanly speaking, imagine what it must have felt like to face an intimidating presence um, of that brute. Even with the eyes of faith, yet David said, my God is greater than he. So saying that now we're in 2020, so we can look and say we would have did this, this, and that. But mind you, warriors were hiding and cowering in fear of this massive nine foot something giant going back for 40 days, just telling them, you know, I'm about to kill you. Send your best person out here. And everybody's looking like, nah, I ain't, I ain't about that life. So we can say what we would have done or what we could have done. But at the end of the day, it was a whole army that was scared of this one giant. But David walked on a battlefield and he was like, what's up? He had all of the confidence of God in him, right? L lesson two, doing battle is a lonely experience. No one else can fight the battle for you. Your Goliath is your Goliath. Someone else might say, ah, don't worry about that. But you is a Goliath and nobody else can battle him for you. Not even a counselor or a pastor, not even a parent or a friend. It's lonely, but it enables you to grow up. It's lonely on the battlefield that you learn, but that you on the battlefield that you learn to trust God. So nowadays we don't have the goliaths but we have bigger battles sometimes we are our own goliath sometimes we are our own enemy sometimes we are the very very thing that's stopping us from getting to the next level but everyone's like well why don't you just do this why don't you just do this it's a mind change 
a mind shift that you have to do and if no one tells you how to do it and you weren't taught you, you're like kind of lost in the sauce and they're like well why don't you just do this and you're like because i can't i can't but you can you can do anything you put your mind to literally you can quit an addiction you can quit being a sideline you can quit doubting yourself you can quit worrying you can quit fearing you can quit being in a domestic violence relationship you can literally flip the switch in your brain and say you know what enough is enough god if you brought me to it you're going to bring me through it and this is where you have to trust God at all costs. And trusting God is hard. It's scary. It's that faith of that mustard seed that you got to go out and say, God, I know you got me. God, I know you got me. I can't see you, but I'm about to take this leap of faith. I'm about to just step out here because I know that you got me. I know it's hard. And people are going to tell you, why don't you just do this? And you're like, because I can't. It's this invisible blocker, insecurity, doubt you know low self-esteem whatever it might be depression anxiety addiction it's this barrier that's blocking you from getting to your next level and once you break that barrier the world is yours the world is yours the world is yours once you break that barrier you got to break that barrier and nothing can stand in the way you'll look at goliath like david did when you break that barrier that you got up that you can control, that you've been in that domestic violence relationship and you're scared to leave because no one else will want you. He don't want you. He don't want you. He just want to use you and beat you down and treat you like you're nothing. But let me tell you a secret. You don't hold something that's nothing. You let it go. You're more valuable than you ever thought. People don't try to bully you for no reason. You, you, people don't do all of this for no reason. You are somebody. You are somebody and you've always been that somebody always. So the devil wants to act like you're nothing, but baby, you're everything. And once you do that flip of the switch, the sky is the limit. You are your only blocker. Lesson three, trusting God is a stabilizing experience. David brought down Goliath with the first stone. His aim was true and did not miss the mark. When it, we can't know for sure, but from every indication, he did not have the jitters. He went into the battlefield. He was stabilized by his trust in God. If you tackle the giant in flesh, you, you, can, you cannot do it. You'll lose. But when you have su spent sufficient time on your knees, it is remarkable how stable you can be. It's saying with your flesh, it'll fail you. If I go to face a Goliath right now thinking I'm going to do this, this, and that by myself, I'm going to lose. But if I go and go to face this Goliath and I say, God, go before me. Go before me before I even get on this battlefield. Go before me before I even get out here on this battlefield, God. I know you got me. I can't do this battle by myself. God, I can't break this addiction by myself. God, I can't leave this domestic violence by myself. This, this abusive relationship by myself. God, I can't quit being a sideline by myself. God, I can't quit doubting myself by myself. God, I need some help. God, I need you to go before me. God, I need you to show up and show out for me because I don't know. I can't do it by myself. God, I tried it by myself and look where I'm at now. I'm nothing without you. But with you, I'm everything. With, with you, I got my whole trust. I got the full armor of God. So I'm looking at these very things that have oppressed me and suppressed me. And I'm looking at them like, what's up? Because I got God with me now. So you were kicking my behind when I was in the flesh. You were kicking my behind. But now that I got God on my side, baby, what's up? Baby, what's up? Listen, it's no battle that you cannot win when you got God on your side. Even if it's yourself. Even if you're battling yourself. There is no battle that you cannot win if you have God. Understand me. You can do whatever you put your mind to. I know as a child they tell you, what's your dream? Oh, I want to be a firefighter. Oh, I want to be this. I want to be that. And then when you get older, you go so far far from the left that you think that you can't come back but let me let you in on a secret you're never too far from god's grace let me say it louder you're never too far from god's grace all of those dreams that you dreamt when you were a young child can come into fruition in your adult life i don't care if you're a hundred years old baby dreams come true dreams still come true you're never too far from god's grace 
and his grace is sufficient for all of your needs. God saying, come back, come back to me. Dare to dream that dream again. Dare to dream that dream again and watch what God does for you. I challenge you to dream again. I challenge you to live again. I challenge you to trust again. I challenge you to love again. God says you're never too far from my grace. I know that dream seems so far-fetched, but God says, I can do it for you. I remember being a little girl. I told God, I want to be a model. I want to be a famous model. I want to travel the world. I want to. And as I got older and I went into that industry, they hated me because of my skin. And I, 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 and I kind of pulled away from it. And I was like, I want no parts of it. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, put me on the cover of something beautiful, God. I dare to dream. I dare to believe you. I know you can do it, God. But God says it's not too far-fetched. Dream your biggest dream and watch what he do for you. Dream your biggest dream and watch what God do for you. Here's four. Winning victories is a memorable experience. We're to remember the victories of our past. We're not, we're to we we are to pass on our lion and our bear stories our own goliath victories meaning once we start defeating these giants once we start knocking them out and taking numbers we're going to do a, a memorial for it just like memorial day just passed we're going to set up our altar of every victory that we won every goliath that we defeated everything that came to destroy us everything that came to beat us down and we knocked it out of the park we're like yeah 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 depression you thought you defeated me suicide you thought you defeated me here i am look that lion and uh, look that lion and that bear in the face and say here i am here I am. You thought you killed me. Divorce. You thought you killed me. Domestic violence. You thought you killed me. Abuse. You thought you killed me. Childhood abuse. You thought you killed me. Foster homes. You thought you killed me. You thought you killed me. But here I am. I ain't going nowhere, baby. Let me write my testimony down. Here I am. Here I am. You thought you killed me. You thought you defeated me. No, baby. God said, voila, magic. And here I am. Voila, magic. And here I am. Everything that thought it was going to come kill me. God says, look it in the face and say here i am because this time i decided to bring god in it this time i decided to add god in it because i couldn't do it myself so all glory be to god and he told me to tell you that the i am sent me he told me to tell you that the i am sent me to all of my problems everything that thought it was going to defeat me god came with me the i am sent me and here i am because i am sent me you thought when David walked out there, they say he ain't had no jitters. He looked it up and down like, this what y'all scared of? This what y'all scared of? This? Run up. Run up. This? Nah. Now, what ain't going to happen is you're not going to sleep on yourself. We're at the halfway point of 2022. We're at the halfway point of 2022. And I'll be doggone if any one of these people that's under the sound of my voice, any one of my babies that's under the sound of my voice, sleep on y'all selves and the rest of 2022. We're going to finish out this year so strong. Everything that tried to defeat you, write it down. And after you write down what's coming to defeat you, I need you to write in bold capital letters here I am. It's not going to defeat you, baby. It's not going to defeat you. I know it looks slim to none. I know the job acting crazy. I know the bills piling up. I know the gas is rising higher than I don't even know what. I know the rent skyrocketing. And I know chicken that's on the farm is $24 right now for a doggone pack of legs that come from a baby chick, not even the chicken. Listen, I know everything's rising. I know. But I need you to stay here I am because you're going to go defeat the very thing that think is going to take you out. Because you're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. Where this is your season you will get your blessings you will get everything that god told you see the devil is trying to distract you with all of this other stuff going on because you are a chain breaker because you are a generational chain breaker and they're sitting around here thinking they're gonna put the chains back on you but you take those chains off of you shake it off of you shake it off of you because you are chosen just like jay david was chosen for such a time as that you are chosen for such a time as this and i'll be doggone if you're gonna sleep on yourself for the rest of 20 
It is double season. God is going to give you your double portion. And you're going to go back to the very thing that thought it defeat you, defeated you. And you're going to look it in the face. You're going to say, the I am sent me. Just like when Moses with the Pharaoh. That he, Moses went to the biggest thing out there. And he walked in there. He said, God, God, who do I tell him sent me? God said, tell him I, tell him I am. Tell him I am that I am. Tell him I am that I am. See, Moses walk around with a st st stutter and didn't know God didn't make no mistakes. God say, go tell them that I am sent you. I am that I am. Go tell your problems. Go tell your Goliath that I am sent you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just that serious. Go say it with some, with some chest. Go, go tell them like your daddy told you to tell them. You ever been in the fight and you run back home and you like, and your mama said, I don't get back out there? Get back out there. Get back out there. Life been kicking your behind, but get back out there. Get back out there and tell them, I am sent me so I can't go back home. I can't come back home defeated because he told me that I'm, 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 I'm armored up right now. I got God on me right now. And if I got God on me, I can't lose. I can't lose in this next in this next season. I can't lose. I can't and I won't. I can't and I won't. God's chanting it right now. I can't and I won't. I can't lose me. I can't lose the fight. I can't be defeated. I won't be defeated. You will not be defeated in this season. God says, add me in it and watch what happens. Listen, I don't know what your intimidating giant is today. It may relate to your job, your roommate, or your school. Maybe it's a person, a lawsuit, unemployment, a disaster. Maybe it's even your own partner in your life. Perhaps it is a fear that is lurking around the corner, sucking your energy and draining your faith. God is saying to you right now, all I ask for you is to have five smooth stones and a slingshot of faith. My God. Get your five smooth stones. Get your five smooth stones and a slingshot of faith. Because this season, we're about to swing it out and knock that devil out. We're about to knock those giants out. You will not be defeated in this season. You are going to get your five smooth stones and your slingshot of faith. And you are about to knock the very thing out that came in to defeat you. I don't care what it is, honey. I don't care what it is, honey. You are about to knock it out the park. You ain't going to have no nerves, no fear. When you go back and you look over your life and you see the very thing that came in to defeat you, you're going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm armored up now. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me again and see what happened. I'm healed now. Hit me again. I'm armored up with faith now. Hit me again. The I am sent me. Hit me again. Here I am. I'm not running. I'm not going nowhere. Hit me again. I'm not that weak child that was out there in the field tending them sheep. I'm a man that's standing right here in your face and saying, hit me again. I'm armored up this season. I'm armored up this season. Yeah. Here it go right here. God said, I'll take it from there. You don't have to wear someone else's armor. You just have to be you. And I'll strip you down to nothing but faith. And then I'll accomplish victory where I'll get my glory. But as for you, trust me. God says, trust me in this season. God says, trust me in this season. This is what I'm reading from. God says, trust me in this season and watch what I do. You tried everything else out here in this world, yet you're still being oppressed, suppressed, depressed, all of the presses. You're still being all of these things. God says, try me in this season. I am enough this season. So if I am enough, you are enough. Matter of fact, before I sign off, I need you guys to tell me that I am enough because you are. I am enough. You will not be defeated. You will not be defeated. I am enough. Declare it. Decree it. I speak it over your life. The I am is sending you. Here we are. We're not going nowhere. Your homework tonight is to write down five things that is calling itself defeating you in this lifetime. Five things. And after you write those five things down, I need you to write in bold letters. Here I am. That's your homework tonight. Write those things that are defeating you. 
write them down. And then right after you get done, write in bold print, here I am. Because here you are. And you are enough. Yes, you're more than enough. Amen. You're more than enough. You're worthy. You're more than a conqueror. You are. You have victory. Victory is your portion. Double is your portion. You will not be defeated. You are enough. And here I am, devil. You wanted me. You called my name out. You tried to oppress me. You tried to suppress me. Here I am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And guess what? God's with me, too. God's with me, too. And my God said that I am sent me. Yeah. It's time to knock those problems out. It's time to defeat those Goliaths in our lifetime. It's time to knock it out the park this season. We're not going to mess up. We're at the halfway point. We got six months left. And we can dream the big dream because God says dream it and it will be so. God says dream it and it will be so. Dream your wildest dream. Challenge God and see what he will do for you. Baby, broken crayons still color. I don't care how broken you have been. Broken crayons still color. And they color beautifully. And if you put a broken crayon out on, on the sidewalk in the heat, it melts and becomes this beautiful color. You are molded by God. You are pieced back together by God. All I hear is the song, piece by piece. God says he's putting you back piece by piece by piece. And he's going to put you back in front of the very people that said that they broke you. The very people that betrayed you, the very people that slayed your name, slandered your name, the very people, the very people that broke you. God says, let them break you. Let them hate you. Let them do it to you. Let them. Because you're going to be my beautiful love story. You're going to be my beautiful victory story. Victory is going to be your name. Victory is going to be affiliated with your name along with favor. God says, let them hate you. Because they hated my son. And look at his beautiful story. God says they're going to talk about you for ages. Let them break you, baby. But understand this. Here I am. I love you guys. I'm going to get ready to corral these kids for bed tonight. Yes. Also, this is the book again for you guys. This is just a book I got from a... um. Yeah, Barnes and Nobles or something. But it's a very good read. And it's all about David. It's all about David. So y'all have a great night. Sleep tight. This was an unscheduled event. So have a great night. And God is with you guys. I love you all. <laughs>